Hi, my name is Luke Marson. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the time off functionality for employees in SuccessFactors Employee Central. So I'm logged in as the famous Carla Grant and I'm currently on my public profile. So if I select the menu, I can go to the time off module by selecting time off. Now immediately we can see the time accounts that I have assigned to me and the current balance of those accounts. Those balances are valid as of today, but of course I can select the date in the past or in the future on which to view those account balances. So if I get to the right hand side of the screen, we can see the button for show account details. By selecting this, I can get a more granular view of the accounts that are assigned to me. So if we take a look at the vacation account, we can see that normally I earn 25 days. But I've taken four of those days and that's why my balance is only 21. So if I close that and go to the bottom of the screen, I can see the requests for those days that I've taken off. So I've just submitted the one request for four days which I took earlier in the year. And that was approved by our manager, Alexander Thompson. So now let's book off some vacation. So if I select the vacation time account and I move my mouse over the calendar, we can see the paintbrush appears. So I can literally draw, draw the days that I want to take off. Here we can see that there's a holiday that's been configured into the system already during the setup of time off. So if I have a look below, we can see here that the system has pre-filled the details about the time type, the start date, the end date, and the number of days that I'm requesting for that. And I can put in a comment. I'm going to take Christmas vacation. And when I hit submit, I will get a message telling me that that's been saved and sent to my manager for approval. And we can now see that's appeared under my requests with the status of pending. Now, of course, it's possible to cancel that request if I want to. Or, in fact, I can edit it. So I can say, well, actually, I'd like to take a bit of, a, bit of a longer break. So I'm just going to drag this over these two days. This is updated to 11 days. And I'm going to hit submit. And again, I'm going to get a message that that's been saved and has gone to my manager for approval. Now, I've got some family coming down for the Thanksgiving weekend. So I want to take off an afternoon vacation, just a half day. So I'm going to select the day, 29th of November. And we can see, because I selected a single day, that I get a drop down under the requesting header. So here I can select half a day. And in the comments, I'm just going to put afternoon vacation. And I'm going to hit submit. And again, that's going to go to my manager for approval. I'm going to get the message. And I can see that under my request here as pending. Now, of course, you, you can configure the system to allow you to take off uh, your time in hours rather than days. The system is very flexible, as all the objects are part of the metadata framework, so they can be quite easily configured through the standard uh, metadata framework user interface in the one admin. So, that concludes my video demonstration of the time off functionality for employees in SuccessFactors Employee Central.